Let's decide whether each ordered pair is a solution to the system 2x plus y is equal to negative 3, x minus y is equal to negative 9, starting with the point at a, 1, negative 5. To determine if this point at 1, negative 5 is a solution, we need to determine whether it satisfies both of the equations. So let's plug in the values 1, negative 5 into each equation and check. Beginning with the equation 2x plus y is equal to negative 3. We substitute 1 in for x, and we substitute negative 5 in for y to determine whether this is indeed equal to negative 3. Cleaning this up, we have a 2 plus a negative 5 is equal to negative 3, or negative 3 is equal to negative 3, and this is indeed a true statement. The point works in that equation. Let's try the second equation. x minus y is equal to negative 9. Substituting the values 1 in for x and negative 5 in for y, does this in fact equal negative 9? 1 minus a negative 5 is 1 plus 5, and we can see that this is not going to work as we get a 6 is equal to negative 9. That statement is false. The point 1, negative 5 is not a solution to this system of equations. Let's go to part B. Let's determine if the point 110 is a solution to this system. By substituting the values for x and y into this first equation, 2x plus y is equal to negative 3, 1 in for x, and 10 in for y, is this indeed a true statement? On the left, we've got a 2 plus 10. This is not going to work, as we have 12 is equal to, I lost my negative sign, I'm going to go back and pick it up. We have the statement 12 is equal to negative 3. That is not true. This is a false statement. We don't have to go any further on this one. We can see that the point does not satisfy both equations. And so the point 110 is not a solution. Remember that for a point to satisfy or be a solution of the system, it has to work in both equations. This one also is not a solution. Let's check that last point, negative 4, 5. First, we'll plug in to the equation 2x plus y is equal to negative 3. Substituting negative 4 for x, 5 for y, is this indeed a true statement? Negative 8 plus 5 is equal to negative 3, and yes, there we've got a true statement. The point works in that one. Let's try our second equation. x minus y is equal to negative 9. Substituting negative 4 for x, 5 in for y, is this indeed a true statement? We can see that yes, we get negative 9 on both sides. This equation is true also, and therefore we can say that the point negative 4, 5 is indeed a solution to this system of equations.